Hey loves, it's me Rachel and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be showing to you some of the Everbillion Advanced products that I have purchased. For the total lockdown, um, AB did launch this um, some of their newest products that they have. Although I have one that I missed or two, but I can't really wait uh, for me to you know, uh, share to you my thoughts and opinions about this product that I have purchased. So, if you know to know more about my thoughts and opinions about this, please keep on watching products that I'm excited to review. So, they have the primer and then this um, Studio Brow Finish na brow pen nila. So, ito yung bago nilang nirelease after the total lockdown. And I also have here, have here as well this ito yung medyo mga sikat nilang mga products din. So, I have the Face Trio. Although ito, ginagamit ko talaga ito. Um, this is really good one. And then, I just use this to swatches ko lang to nagamit. Itong dalawang eyeshadow nila. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, the two products that I'm really excited to share to you guys. So the first one is this. So this is the EB Advanced First Step Mattifying Primer nila. So um, let's start with the packaging. Packaging nila guys, super simple. As you can see here. Sorry, hindi na ko focus yung camera ko. But ito siya. Ayan. And sa side, nandun yung ingredient. And yung mga logos niya. So, meron din siya dito yung serial code. And then, ito yung description niya. So, sabi dito, uh, A flawless base starts with a prep using the EB Advanced First Step Mattifying Primer. The clear primer blurs the appearance of pores and helps makeup blend on and stay on. And then, meron din yung instruction how to use. Before applying your base, a smooth it can lay your primer on clean, moisturized, and concentrate application of texture and all prone areas on the face. So, And then, it's cruelty-free, um, paraben-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan-free, and it's good for one year, 24 months and use upon opening uh, the box. So, with that being said, since sabi dito, uh, meron siyang dimeticone. Um, usually, according dun sa nabasa kong article from Cosmopolitan before, ang mga texture or primer na may dimeticone or any uh, any products na meron dimeticone um, is usually uh, silicone. And sabi dito, mattifying primer siya. So, I'm expecting that this is friendly for those people, kagaya ko, na my oily skin. So, as you all know, uh, just for me to share to you guys, I have a very, 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 kung may pinaka very pa doon, yun na yun, oily skin. And on top of that, sobrang open ng mga pores ko na grabe ako magpawis. So, ganun yung type ng skin. So, upon opening, so, ganito yung itsura niya, guys. Ayan siya. Ayan. So, kung ano nakalagay dito, meron din siya dito. Although, yung direction lang yung wala. Ayan. So, kilala naman natin si EB Advance. White lang talaga yung palagi nilang ginagamit na uh, packaging. Very, very simple. So, pagka-open, guys, yun siya. Hindi ko pa ito nagagamit as in, hindi pa talaga. Although, na-purchase ko na siya a uh, few weeks ago. So, ito pa lang yung first time kong gagamitin siya. Although, pag-open, hindi siya naka-sealed. So, mahirap din kasi itong i-sealed kasi tingin nyo, na yung tip niya kasi ganyan. Yun siya. Sorry, hindi talaga nagka-focus yung camera ko. For some reason. So, I will put it at the back of my hand. So, Para makita niyo kung ano yung texture niya. Ooh. Kita niyo yun? So, kagaya na sabi ko sa inyo kanina guys, since meron tong Dimeticon, um, silicone yung texture nito. And I already prepped my face. I already put a uh, moisturizer. Have a clean face right now. So, ilagay na natin to sa mukha natin. 
before we put a foundation. Okay. Mm. Right now, guys, habang nilalagay ko siya sa face niya, so I'm looking at the mirror here, sa side ko. And as you can see, pinafocus ko lang siya sa nose area ko. Lagay ko siya sa area na meron ako. Meron ako yung pinagdaanan pa ng mukha ko. Tsaka yung mga pinagdaanan ng mga pimples ko before. And upon applying guys, alam niyo yung feeling ko sa kanya. Para siyang oil. Let me look at the mirror here. Although, nakita ko naman na nag-smoothen out naman yung face ko. And dito sa kabila kasi medyo nagsiset na siya. So, okay naman yung pakiramdam. Pero yun nga lang, pag ina-apply niya siya, kagaya ko ngayon, ina-apply ko siya, parang, parang ako nag apply ng oil. Ganun yung pakiramdam ko. Medyo okay na yung feeling niya. So, uh, what I'll be doing is just, just gonna put uh, foundation on my face and I'll be right back. Alright, so guys, I already put uh, foundation and also nakapag-bake na ako. I haven't mentioned pa earlier guys that the cost of this, sa na yun? <laughs> Ito. Um, first step, mattifying primer is for 250 pesos. Although guys, I will say, kanina kasi, nung naglalagay ako ng foundation, um, that's my favorite foundation. And, um, I'm really into using primer na din kasi talaga. Um, especially that, I, I wanna make sure na yung, uh, talagang maayos yung lapat ng foundation sa mukha natin, no? Kasi, uh, I experienced na not putting a, found, uh, a primer when I'm having a foundation. Nag-flaky. So, nag-flaky yung mukha ko. Or, hindi siya ganun ka-smooth compare pag may foundation or may primer ka. Ngayon, guys, sa camera, um, parang nag-blur out naman, I think. So, maganda naman siya sa camera, no? Pero dito, sa personal, um, okay naman siya. Um, katulad nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, nung nag-set na yung, nung nag na yung primer, uh, mas okay na yung feeling compared doon kanina nung nilalapat ko. Para kung may oil na nilalagay sa mukha ko. Ganun yung feeling niya, guys. The mirror. Nakikita ko, guys, na na-emphasize niya. Hindi ko alam kung nakikita niya, pero itong part na to, tsaka yung dito, yung sabi ko sa inyo yung problem area ko, na-emphasize niya yung mga butas-butas ko. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Usually kasi pag nagko-primer ako guys, hindi na siya masyadong na-emphasize. Pero dito, dito sa uh, EB Advance, medyo na-emphasize niya. So, I don't know <laughs> kung bakit ganun. Pero for me kasi, that's should how the primer works. Although, um, madali naman siyang i-glide sa mukha or uh, parang naging smooth naman yung mukha ko. But, for me kasi guys, a primer should uh, really parang paplataduhin niya yung ano, yung cheese mismo sa mukha, ganon. Pero with the pricing, this is only for 249 pesos. Hindi ako nagkakamali guys. Wala naman akong reklamo, mura na siya. So, now we're gonna proceed with the second one that I have purchased. Gaya na sabi ko sa inyo guys, um, nasira ko yung lalagyan, but it's a typical na lalagyan din na meron sila sa mga lipsticks nila and sa mga pangkilay nila. So, this is the EB Advanced Studio Phoenix, uh, Finish, Phoenix Studio Finish uh, Brow Pen. So, ito yung nalagyan niya. So, ito yung nalagyan niya, guys. So, nat natabi ko pa kahit naman na hindi ko na siya na ano, nasira ko na siya. So, dito, sabi, get that natural bold brow look for the EB Advanced Studio Finish Brow Pen. 
It's ultra fine, quad thick, and sheer but buildable ink. You can easily make hair light brow strokes on the go. So, and you can do ingredients. I'm not going to do ingredients. Yeah. And then also, I don't know if you guys at the bottom, but it's cruelty free, carbon free, vegan free, and good for six months. I'm going to do the manufacturing date of the product and the shade wood. You can do guys that in the shop. Because it's not going to be shop, but it's not going to be So, if I'm not mistaken, this cost for 100 and this cost for 165 pesos. So, buksan na natin. Oh. So, ito yung tip niya, guys. So, totoo naman yung sinabi nila. Quad tip siya. And, let's check kung ano yung kulay niya. Yan. Yeah. So, yung kulay niya, guys. I think this one comes with uh, two different... It comes with two different shades. Pero yung kinuha ko ito. Kasi parang reddish yung itsura niya sa picture yung is... Ayun, wala akong kilay. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Nung pinag nagbigay ang Diyos ng kilay, tulog ako. Char. Hindi yung nanay ko din, manipis din yung kilay niya. So, nagmana kami sa nanay niya. Kasalanan ng nanay ko to. Char lang. So, yun. So, let's try na. So, ngayon guys, itatry ko na siyang i-fill in. Kasi sabi nga dito, um, sabi dito, brow strokes, hair-like brow, hair -like brow strokes on the go. So, tignan natin kung on the go nga talaga to. Ang gagawin ko ngayon is paraas, no? Actually guys, ang naisip ko kasi, dun sa description niya, uh, brow pen. So, niisip ko yung magagaya niya yung hibla. Try pa natin. Ganyan siya guys on one side of my kilay. So, I'm just gonna create the other one. So guys, I already finished uh, filling in my brows with this ever um, Belena Advanced Brow Pen. Um, ano ba? So, what I'm expecting, kasi sabi nga dito brow pen, is this will gonna mimic my hair. So, yung alam niyo yung parang talagang pag nilagay mo siya, eh, mukha siyang ding hibla. Or, parang on the go na natural look. Especially that it's quad tip. However, um, okay naman siya guys. Kasi yung the color is good. Although, pag nilagay mo siya sa kilay mo, ang basa lang niya. Parang li liquidy. Ganon. Although, ang maganda dito sa brow pen na to, guys, is um, alam niyo yung mga pagkakataon, yung mga kilay natin, di ba? Pag nakikilay tayo, may mga part na buhok. So, pwede tong pang fill in. So, I think that's how you can use this. Although, ginamit ko talaga siya as in purely sa kilay ko, wala naman akong problema sa kulay. Kasi we we know that every balena is really good in terms of uh, for the pang kilay na products. Talagang uh, isa sa mga perfect or isa sa mga magagandang brand locally si Everbelena and also with the lipsticks although with this one I have to say guys I'm really sorry Everbelena but medyo pas ako dito for me um, I, I will gonna use this pang fill in na lang dun sa mga gaps na wala akong hair Gana. but the color it, it looks nice it's good good naman. So, let's proceed then with the eyeshadow. So, you have your two eyeshadows. Um, I have the black tie. Ito siya. And then, the mixed metals. I think sa mga ibang vlogger, uh, nasa-share na nila to. Itong eyeshadows na to. So, let's start with the mixed metals. Ito yung tsura niya, guys. Pagka-open mo, meron siyang ganito. Although nakita nyo, natry ko na siyang gamitin. So, let me show to you some swatches nito. Well, ito yung swatches niya, guys. At hindi ako marunong mag-swatch. <laughs> Ayan siya. <clears throat> so, maganda na may maganda yung colors ito, guys. Ito, maganda yung color nito. Alam niyo yung mga uso ngayon na parang summer lang. 
summer vibe. Maganda siya. Guys, um, the second lay shadow that I have here is this. So, this is uh, in a shade black tie. So, ito yung um, colors niya. Okay. Ayan. So, guys, ito siya. Uh, meron siyang a uh, small na salamin dito. Although, hirap naman ito. Magkita mo naman yung eyes mo. Actually, makikita mo yung dito mo. So, kung mas malito yung mukha mo sa akin, makikita mo talaga yung mukha mo dito. Makikita mo naman talaga yung mukha mo. Pero, parang mas maganda pa rin yung gamitan is yung salamin talaga. So, ito yung shades niya. And, kagaya nga, nung sabi ko kanina, meron siyang gantong applicator na kasama. So, i-swatch na natin. Alam nyo guys, yung in fairness, no, nabibili pa ko dito sa uh, dito sa eyeshadow nilang iconic. Nakakabilib yung kita nyo yan? Yung glitters nyo guys is hindi siya malalaki. Very fine. Ang galing naman ni Everbila na dito. It's eyeshadow cost for Nakalimutan ko na guys kung 200 plus siya or 100 something. Pero alam ko less than 300 pesos lang to. So you can try to check it out in Lazada. Let's start with this shade here. Powdery to guys ha. Tinan nyo. Powdery siya. And maliit yung salamin. Gamitin natin to. So, transition shade lang muna tayo. And then, I'm gonna put here. So, yung ibang makeup artist, ang ginagawa nila, tinatapos muna nila yung isang side bago yung isa. Um, iba naman, kagaya sa ginagawa ko, um, after ng isang side, dalagyan mo isang side. Bakit? Just for you to check kung pantay ba or tama lang ba rin yung a quantity nung nilalagay mo o yung kulay. Kasi mahirap naman patapos mo na dito, tsaka mo lang gagawin. Pero usually, nire after nilang gawin to, um, nire-create na lang nila dito. Pero since hindi naman tayo make up professional talaga, guys. Ganto lang. Ganto ako mas comfortable. So, yan. Okay naman siya. Madali naman siya kumulay. As you can see, guys. Oh, madali lang naman siyang kumulay. And then, I'll gonna start with using this. Itong medyo deeper. Dun sa loob. I know. Powdery talaga. Pero guys, uh, yung lapat ng color sa powder. Grabe. So guys, pasensya na kung dun sa few clips natin, walang voice or mahina yung boses, nakalimutan ko na tanggal ang mic natin. So, pasensya na po. So, I'm just gonna finish my eye makeup look and I'll be right back. Alright, so guys, hello. Um, I already finished my full makeup. So, ito na siya, guys. So, I just use of course, this EB Iconic and then I also use as well this Face Trio. So, itong Face Trio, guys, hindi na siya first impression kasi ginagamit ko talaga siya although I this comes with 2 or 3 ata and I have the fig trio so ito siya <clears throat> ito siya guys and then may malaki siya yung salamin dito so ito yung ginamit ko pang bronze um, pang blo bronze blush and then the highlight although guys ito maganda, sobrang ganda nung blush maganda yung blush on niya ito siya part ako lang sa inyo Ayan. But sa bronzer, guys, kung morena ka, parang wala. Pero sa kulay ko, uh, okay lang naman siya. Um, kung pares tayo na type or skin color, then definitely, you will also gonna love this. So, i-aura ko lang muna tong makeup look ko in 3, 2, 1.
up yung review natin for today. Um, for me, personally, guys, for the brow pen, uh, asa na yun? Basta, for me, guys, personally, for the brow pen, this is a pass for me. I'm so sorry, ever Belen, na I really love all of your brow products. Although, maganda naman siya, guys, sa kilay ko. However, Siguro mas magagamit mo to kung pag-fill in lang doon sa mga gaps. Pero kasi yung description niya which is um sabi nga nila is hair like on the go. Yung feeling or yung talagang gamit nito. Medyo hindi niya 'yon. Um medyo hindi niya yun sa akin or medyo hindi niya na-achieve. Hindi siya achieve na achieve na ganun. Uh, maganda naman yung color. Uh, kanina, nalinisan ko na kasi to, pero may stain na naiwan dito sa aking back of hand kanina. Okay naman siya, pero it's just not really for me. But if you guys wanna try it, you can go ahead and do so. The price is just really decent for 165 pesos. Then, for the primer... Siguro guys, si primer, I will gonna try it one more time. Although, hindi ko kasi gusto yung feeling na pag in-apply mo siya sa mukha mo, oil, para ako nag apply ng oil sa mukha. Ganun yung feeling niya sa akin. I don't know about the others who already tried it, pero comment down below. Uh, but I will gonna uh, try it one more time. Ang hindi ko lang nagustuhan guys is, mas, nung naginamit ko siya, mas na-emphasize niya yung mga chismis or yung mga yung pores ko. In yung, yun lang. Yun lang hindi ko nagustuhan sa kanya. Kasi nga, I have primers that I've used at talaga naman yung pores kasi guys, talagang medyo nag-blur naman niya. Ito kasi sinabi nila mabablur, pero parang hindi. Parang mas na-emphasize niya. Although, yun, yun lang, yun lang yung problema ko dito. And then, the feeling na oil. Pero yung uh, oily feeling naman niya, upon setting up or a few minutes, mawawala din yun. And parang mattify na yung feeling mo sa mukha. So, uh, that will gonna sum up, guys, uh, my review about this Ever Belena primer and then also the brow pen that I purchased. Uh, there's something that you want me to try on or you want to do video so please uh, hit like me naman or subscribe as well and comment down below guys kung meron kayong mga tanong or what is also your experience about this nagustuhan nyo ba? Uh, baka iba lang yung sa opinion ko but if nagustuhan nyo please I want also to hear your thoughts about this product so till my next video bye